Do you expect this to become the electric gulf? I mean, will these become ubiquitous uh, around Europe? When we started with the project uh, four, some four years ago, this was exactly the idea. Now the question is, was, what comes after Beetle, uh, 40 years of golf, what is the next big thing for Volkswagen? It has to be something for a broad range of customers. It has to be a mid-sized compact car. And in this new age, uh, this is it. It's, uh, I think, the uh, uh, electric car, which is really the best choice for many of our customers, size of a Volkswagen Golf, up to 500 kilometers range, fast charging, huge interior, modern shape, newest electronics. Uh, uh, so this is it, exactly. One of the most important things with I find with electric cars is the charging infrastructure. Yeah. Do you think you're going to be able to build that up quickly enough? Because Ionity clearly has the best and fastest chargers, but there aren't very many of them. Yeah, but they are, we, we will get there. We are getting there uh, very soon until the end of the year 2020. We will cover Europe uh, with a fast charging network uh, every 120 kilometers. Uh, with fast charging for Porsche with up to 350 kilowatts for the ID over and above 100 kilowatts and you, that means you can really charge fast. Uh, infrastructure is probably uh, uh, one of the bigger challenges but it's really growing. We just uh, uh, we are just finishing our work in the United States. We are also contributing in a fast charging network. Uh, we are dedicated to home charging. The, you can order the car with an equipment of home charging, which, which comes with the car, which is installed at, your, at a very attractive price. So, um, yeah, we are getting there. So, uh, when it comes to the battery, you know, I always gas up at Shell, probably because I'm a sucker for marketing and I watch F1, but really gas is going to be the same at Esso, at Repsol, at Sunoco. Is it the same with batteries that you source for these cars? When you buy a battery to build a car, does it matter if you get it from CATL, BYD, Panasonic, LG? Now, any battery would be according to our specification. We have a huge uh, team uh, also in, in the research area regarding bat batteries will be the most important component of those electric cars. So we are really focused on batteries. The batteries we build or put into the cars are to our specification, they come from different suppliers uh, because we have to manage in the United States, in China and in Europe, uh, but uh, they are uh, very similar and according to our specification. When it comes to, so you're the CEO of the world's largest car maker. For uh, uh, no other person should the trade war mean as much. Has the trade war made you think differently about the way you want to do business? You know, our business always has been a, a global business with different markets and tastes and, and barriers, also trade barriers. No, but we come really now into a situation where this uh, trade war is really influencing the mood of the customers and, and it has the chance to really disrupt the world economy. We feel that in China, for instance, China is basically a healthy market, but because of the trade war, really the uh, car market is basically in a recession. So that's a new situation that's scary for us. So far, we defend ourselves quite nicely. We can gain market share, though our volumes remain at acceptable levels. Uh, but we hope that uh, there won't be any uh, recession uh, uh, on the, on the midterm or long term because it would be uh, a self-made recession basically of, of the different players. Do you plan to invest more in China to have more local production there? Uh, we are heavily invested in China. We have, I have about 100,000 people. Uh, I would say 90% of the product we sell in China is locally produced. We have about uh, close to 19% market share though we are, we are very much, uh, let's say, industrialized in China, but we are increasing our footprint uh, in the United States. For instance, we are increasing our footprint in Latin America. Uh, so we are investing in all uh, major regions. You have a huge footprint, obviously, here at home. Um, are you thinking about reducing that to some extent as the German economy slows? Uh, we are, I think we are quite nicely set up. We have flexible plants. Uh, so far, we have full uh, uh, occupation levels. Uh, we have uh, the possibility to, to scale our production quite uh, nicely. We agreed that with the electric cars being introduced over a period of five to ten years, we will reduce our headcount here in Germany, mostly uh, in Emden, 
uh, in uh, Zwickau and also in uh, Hannover, no, because electric cars require less labor. But we can manage this, uh, this transition uh, together with the uh, um, uh, Works Council and the representatives. Let me just finally ask you, would you like to see a spending package out of Berlin? Do you think German infrastructure needs to be improved? What I really want from Berlin, that we commit to the electric car, that we work together on this transition, that we make sure that the electric car is not only a, a good uh, uh, a customer offer, but is accompanied uh, with uh, the right infrastructure, with a nice taxing, with the right taxing system. That is where I would ask for some uh, understanding and help.